Looks like you've had a busy night. No big deal. She just had a baby on the side of the room. I'm in the hospital, and I went into labor. All right. Get her in three. Baby. I, I honestly don't know what I would have done if he hadn't been there. Epiphany. The paramedics checked him out at the scene. They said he's doing fine. <laughs> Thanks to you, Todd. <laughs> if it weren't for you, my son, Victor's son, would have died. The paramedics were right. Your baby's in excellent condition. <laughs> he couldn't be healthier if he'd been born here in the hospital. Could you take him to see a pediatrician? I mean... I'm sorry, it's it's not that I don't believe you. It's just that when my baby was born, he didn't cry. He was barely breathing. He wasn't. Because no. his uh, lungs are perfectly fine. No, no, he, no. He, was, he was silent. He had to take him to get help. And did you find any? Or did you pull this miracle off by yourself? I, I'm not solely responsible for everything that's happened with this baby. I, I did have some help. But yet, Todd found this woman in the woods who helped revive the baby. I was so afraid I was going to lose him. I had this terrible feeling that he was gone. Tiffany, could you set up some tests in pediatrics? Right away. Thanks. This one lucky guy. Oof. Whoever that woman was did some pretty quick thinking. <laughs> Yes, I'm very grateful to her. But he's the one who got him to her in time. He's the reason I'm holding my son in my arms right now. I know this sounds crazy, but I'm afraid if I take my eyes off of him, I'm scared he'll... <laughs> no, the worst is over. <laughs> He survived. A little separation anxiety is natural, especially under the circumstances of your son's birth. Okay, we're gonna take this little one and we're gonna put these pieces. Okay, please it's be careful. Okay. It's okay. okay. I've had plenty of practice with babies, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She'll have him back real soon. In the meantime, you need to get some rest okay. because under the circumstances, Looks like you're not going to be getting any for the next 18 years. <laughs> Thank you. You came through. <laughs> I still can't believe it. I can't believe my baby's alive. <sighs> Thanks to you. <laughs> Taya thinks that the baby that she's holding is her own. Maybe it should be. What does that mean? Well, Sam and her husband aren't together anymore. He didn't want to raise a child that wasn't his. If I had to guess, I'd say that Sam was here to abandon her own child. I don't know something about that. And the woman out there, she already loves him. But it's not her kid. Don't you see? It really is a miracle. They're both getting a second chance. Delgado. There's something I need to tell you. I know what I took from you when I killed Victor. Do you really and want to bring this up right now? there isn't in this world that I wouldn't do to make things up to you. Sometimes I think there isn't anything you wouldn't do, period. <laughs> Liking the sound of the... Why are you saying well, this? Just give me a second, what? all right? That, that this isn't easy for me. Todd, listen. My baby could have died tonight. Okay. I would have had to go on. Without Victor and without our son. So, no, you can't change the past, but you have changed the future. <laughs> there, 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 there's, there's more. There's something I, I. Well, then, what is it? Go ahead, tell me. What is it that you need to tell me? It's, it's probably Star. She doesn't know what happened to you. I should... Yeah, you should probably take it. Right? I should. Hey, Shorty. Dad, finally, did you find Taya? I did. Turns out she had a really good reason for missing your hearing. Look, are you at the hotel? Yes, I'm here. Yeah, there's something that I need to sort out with Taya. But... You stay put, okay? I'm gonna come meet you there as soon as I figure out how to get there from the hospital. The hospital? What happened? Uh, Taya had her baby. Dad, you're kidding me. Taya
Kay had her baby? Is it a boy or a girl? No, no, no. You know what? Don't, don't, don't tell me. I, I want to see when I get there. Dad, are Kay and her baby okay? Uh, yeah, Star, look, it, it's, it's been a really long night for, for everybody. Why don't you just stay put at the hotel? You come see Tay tomorrow. Okay. I'm, I'm on my way. Tay had a baby. That's why she didn't make it to the hearing. I know. I heard. Congratulations. I have That's a little awesome. cousin. A little boy or a girl. I don't even know what it is. It just doesn't even matter. I'm just I'm so relieved and so happy. <laughs> what? You said you're happy. I gotta go. Thank you. Hi, hi, I can't oh, believe I could. Hey, you have to be. Oh, my God. This is my little cousin. Meet my son. Beautiful little boy. <laughs> Nothing would stop him from making his entrance. <laughs> so sweet. And lucky. Lucky your father found us. Yeah. Toss the one who delivered him. You just happened to be there in a shack in the middle of the woods. <laughs> yeah. I have no idea who she was. All that matters is that she and your father were able to save this little guy. Mm. Yeah, that's the thing about Dad. He always comes through. <laughs> Apparently, Todd has something he wants to tell me, but he can't seem to spit it out. I'm really happy for you. You sure that's all? Isn't that enough? Come on, Star. Sleep till God to be happy. When I'm not just a stranger. Sweet little boy. Todd, I... Don't. I... Good night. You okay? Yeah, no, I'm... I'm, I'm so happy for Taya. It's just looking at that baby reminds me of... Reminds me of hope. Yeah. I know. I miss her, too. So tell me. Tell you what? Tell me what you know about who really caused Cold Hope's death. I didn't use the car as tires and that it wasn't huh? Sunny. And that you used that as leverage to get Sunny to drop the charges against me? I did. All right then. Who was it? You isn't going to change anything. Well, if you don't tell me, then I'm going to have to start asking around, starting with Sunny. No. No, I don't want you anywhere near that gangster. Tell me. Don't you think our family's had enough secrets and lies? It wasn't Sonny who caused the accident. It was his girlfriend, Kate Howard. <laughs>